When Madam Walker started her company in 1906, there were very few women who were in business. She and Helena Rubinstein and Elizabeth Arden were women who were all in the same boat. They were trying to develop an industry. People didn't even take them seriously. She traveled door to door, town to town, teaching individuals in churches and in people's parlors and wherever she could. And she could see that ultimately, it really wasn't as much about the hair care product, though that was important in an era when women didn't have access to those products, but it also was very much about empowering women and about helping women become economically independent. So the more she trained women and the more she taught them to train other women, she was developing a national and really international network of women who were Walker agents. Those women could see not only were they able to transform themselves, but they also were able to make money that they could contribute to their churches, to pay tuition for their children to go to school, to buy homes. And this then became really the goal. When I look at her life, I think it's fabulous that she became a millionaire. Stunning that she became a millionaire. But for me, the more lasting legacy is that she empowered people and that she used her money to make a difference in her community and to show other people their ability to make a difference in their community.